Hi, my name is Richie. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some gathering AI using uh, pathfinding, extra and A star pathfinding to be specific. These are the four or three maps that I'm going to be demonstrating. This first one, just a really basic one. This one having two resources, and this one having a lot of resources and multiple gatherers. Uh, the gatherers are the green. Okay, so I'll start out with the first map. And you see the gatherers starts in the bottom left and he starts moving towards the top right. I can view the uh, the graph tree like this, and we can see each of the nodes connecting correctly. And he just waits there for about seven seconds. And after that time's up, he will return to the blue square, which is like his little base. And he's going to drop the resource there. Okay, and then we'll go to the next one. I'll just change this in here. Okay, you see he'll immediately go for the bottom resource because it's closer than the top resource because the yellow squares have double weight to be traveled across. So his pathfinding will go towards that bottom one. You see he doesn't clip through the corners of any of the walls or anything like that. And he'll wait there for two seconds. And then he will take the bottom path again because it's shorter than the top path because the weight of the yellow tiles is double that of the regular ones. And then he'll wait there for seven seconds. I'm just going to speed up time here so we can get to the next one. Okay. And the last resource map with the multiple gatherers. And they'll always go for the nearest resource to where they start and where the base is when they return to base and go for another one. And that's using the Dijkstra algorithm. And he uses A star to find a path back to the base. That's the most efficient path. And we'll just speed this up so we don't have to wait so long for them to gather all these resources. You'll see sometimes they look like they're making kind of a weird path. It's because they don't, um, they're going for a resource that they didn't see had been gathered by another one yet. And when, when they get there, they realize, oh, this one already got picked up. So they'll go look for a different one. But if they, if they haven't searched for a closest resource yet that um, has been picked up or has been already picked up, they won't, they won't find it if it's already been picked up and the guy's moving already. Yeah, they don't like that middle one because of all the yellow tiles around it. It's heavily weighted against. You see that guy kind of ran towards it because he didn't notice the other one picked it up yet. And those two are up there, and that's it. And because there's no more resources left, these guys just kind of idle over here. And he's idle. He's in there somewhere. There he is. Alright, I think that was everything. Uh, thank you for watching.